watch. FYZ4K here, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we are going to be talking about... Boom! I was actually able to do that because I don't have the drone in this box here. So yeah, I thought of doing a nice review today for the Autel Evo drone. We did talk about this in the last video briefly, but I didn't get into any of the details. So I thought today we'll talk about the drone. So this is by Auto Robotics. It is competing really, really well with the DJI. Quickly on the side of the box, there's like a list of things that it lists. First one says that the camera is a 4K, 60 frames per second, three axle gimbal. It also has a vision system. It has autopilot functions, HD image transmission, flight duration is 30 minutes, and the remote control, which is a 3.3 inch OLED screen control. So that was just something quick that I wanted to share with you. So this is the 4K drone over here. They actually just came out recently with the 6K, 8K drone. Let's kind of stretch its wings here, its propellers. Right in here is the camera, all right? So that's the camera right over there on the gimbal. We have sensors at the front. We have the gimbal at the bottom, okay? And to the right side, we have micro SD card slot right over here. Okay, we got some more sensors at the back. We got some sensors at the bottom. At the top here, we got the battery pack so push the button and release and that's what that looks like right over there so this is the battery pack that's kind of part of the body of the drone and uh, again that just slides in by sliding it in here a click and that's that with this pack that I got I actually received a few things so we're gonna go through what is inside the box Kind of like an unboxing, but like we've already previously unboxed it. So inside this box, we did get an extra battery pack. There's a little button here. If you push the little button and hold it for a few seconds, it'll tell you how much juice is actually left on the battery. You'll notice that they do discharge if they're sitting for a while. We get the charger that's also included for the drone battery um, and the remote itself. So you can actually charge the remote and the battery at the same time. And you get the cool looking remote over here. So this remote actually folds up pretty nice, right? So it's like usually when you get it, it looks something like that. Right over here, you can clip your phone. If you don't have your phone or you forget your cable at home and you're out on the field ready to fly and shoot, you get like a live feed live view on this display. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly connect my phone to the remote and I'm gonna show you all the options that the menu has and then we're gonna go out for a flight. Now, I just wanted to quickly tell you I have the iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, this is not the max, but the clip will take a max size. Um, it'll also take a large Samsung phone as well like the uh, the plus sizes next thing we're gonna do is just make sure our phone is connected so I'm gonna be using my iPhone connector cable I'm gonna turn on the remote so we hear this beeping as well there is a fan in the remote as well so while you're charging the remote or while it's running you will hear a fan from time to time so we're gonna actually now switch over to my phone screen recording three two one so this is the main screen that we see here and uh, what we will do is we'll go into the camera okay so this kind of tells you a little bit about uh, the controls and stuff like that all right 
we can hit the do not show again because we know what we're doing and here we go if we go into the tools real quick we got a lot of options here so under the flight control we got the go home altitude setting we got the speed mode setting uh, which is interesting because you got like the standard we got the position and we got a ludicrous mode guys we got a ludicrous mode um, and then the speed limit is at 22 miles per hour which is at standard if we do precision we hit ok it's at 4 miles per hour okay and then ludicrous um, system must be turned off please fly with caution okay all right, so ludicrous is 45 miles per hour. Wow, 45 miles per hour. That is insane. All right, so let's just, um, I'll just keep it at precision. I kept my altitude li um, limit to the max, which is 2,624 feet. Distance limit, I have actually turned that on so I can go up to 1,640 feet away from me. Uh, there's a boat mode, there's a compass calibration, advanced setting, there's visual navigation. Okay, in regards to visual avoidance is on or off. Um, under the remote control, there's some settings as well that you can change. Uh, image transmission, there is the aircraft battery, there's the gimbal and under general you can change from imperial which is the miles per hour to kilometers per hour let's just close that up now okay when i just push that arrow up we got a bunch of options over here so you can change your format from mov to mp4 the auto exposure right now is set at auto you can also change that to manual you can change your shutter to whatever shutter speed you'd like so again when you're in manual you can change your ISO and you can change your white balance you have your digital zoom uh, you can actually adjust your color we can actually switch between video mode and still mode so you can actually take pictures and that's the still mode right over there so the aspect ratio has changed for that for the camera mode the still mode and then we can switch back to the video mode right over there so at 4K, the max you can shoot is at 60 frames. Okay, and then if you did want to change that to let's say 1080, you can shoot it at 120 frames per second, which is quite nice if you wanted a, a lot of slow-mo and buttery smooth uh, clips. So yeah, these are the settings that are in the app itself. All right, so I'm pretty pumped to take this drone out and to show you some footage. And then we'll head back in to see how everything turned out. Let's head outside. Okay guys, so I thought that turned out really nice. Let me know what you guys thought. Message me below. Honestly, you can have a lot of fun with this drone for leisure or for professional use. And that's pretty much about that. So I hope you enjoyed this video today and appreciate if you guys smash that subscribe button because that's really gonna help me grow. So take care of yourselves and we will catch you guys on the next one. Take care. <laughs>